Hello and welcome to this video in which we will use Minitab 16 to compute sample statistics for a data set. As you can see from the screen, I'm going to start from the ASU My Apps web page to show you how you can run this on a Mac that's not running Basecamp. Now those of you that are using Windows-based computers may have already purchased a copy of Minitab and have it installed. If that's the case, you may want to skip ahead until you find a screen that looks like Windows rather than a Mac. If you're on a Mac or if you're on Windows and running it over the uh, My Apps uh, web page, you click on Run App Now and uh, it asks you where you want to save your files and I'm going to, to save my files on the M drive and then if everything works well you'll see the startup screen happen and it will start to load Minitab. If everything doesn't work well you'll need to work with ASU's uh, technical support to figure out how to make it work better. My experience with my apps has been sort of difficult. So if you successfully run Minitab from the my apps page eventually you'll get to this screen. And what we'll do is we'll start off by entering some data. So for this video, I'm going to make up some data. And I think what I will do is make up some data that represents high temperatures in the Phoenix metro area in the last few weeks. So I'll label the column temps. This will be the high temperatures. And just start typing in data. Uh, this is not exact, but it's pretty typical of what we've had in the last little while. As you can see, Phoenix at the end of August can be a trial. Okay, so I have these data values that I've that I put in. And I want to find the sample mean, the sample variance, the sample standard deviation, and the sample median of these data. To do that with Minitab, I go to the stat menu and click on basic statistics and then click on display d descriptive statistics and it brings up this window I want to get the statistics of the temps column so I select that and then I just hit OK and you can see that it brings up in this window the computed values of the sample statistics so you can see that the mean is 104.11, the standard deviation is 6.29, the median was 105. You'll notice that it doesn't bring up the sample variance, but I can compute the sample variance from the sample standard deviation because I know the sample variance is the square of the sample standard deviation. So without actually doing it, I would take this 6.29 and square it. If I want to take this information and put it into a Word document or a file of some sort, then I can just select it all. We select the parts I want and copy it. And then I can paste this into a Word document or some other document that I'm using to uh, document my results. So hopefully this has been helpful. Again, the purpose of this video is to show you how to get Minitab started for my apps and then show you how to compute sample statistics. So thanks for watching.